Call me Bucky, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about this rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how you find a hope, but still won't go legitimate? Uh, how you fuck a bunch of but Alright, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's not waste any time and get right into this. We got the 2001 Toyota Camry sitting right behind me. Ooh, and Ronnie the Red Dakota looking clean as hell. Alright, so anyway, like I was saying, we got the 2001 Toyota Camry right behind me. We got all the parts in from the from the auto parts store. There's the timing belt, there's the water pump, there's the head gasket sitting over there. Anyway, we got all the parts in, so first things first, what we're gonna do is get this head gasket on, get it all torqued down, and get the cams in there so we can go ahead and get the, everything all set in time and replace the timing belt. Okay, so let's get to it. So the first thing I wanna show you has to do with this cam. If you have a cam, I don't know what year Toyota started doing this, but if, on your exhaust cam, if you have a little split, see the little split right there? How the teeth don't line quite up? Let me show you what you gotta do. You wanna take your cam, bring it over to a vise, and set it up in the vise right on these, right here, right on those little wings. So take it, slide it in your vise, careful not to scratch the lobes or anything like that, and then close it in right there, just like that. All right, I'll do that, and then I'll show you the next part. Okay, so you'll notice on this cam here that this top portion of the cam is able to spin. You can twist it one direction, and it just kinda comes to a hard stop and you can twist it the other direction and it almost lines up and you can force it over the rest of the way and make it line up. But come to the bottom half of the thicker portion of this gear, the thicker half of this gear right here and you'll see there's a threaded hole. It's the only threaded hole on this bottom half of the cam gear. If you look from the top, that threaded hole just about lines up with this hole right here on top. <clears throat> so you need to take this upper gear here and force it over the rest of the way. You could see it starting to move there and get it to line up with that bottom hole. So before you do any of that, you're gonna take a bolt and I'll post what thread size it is right up here somewhere in the bottom of this video. <clears throat> get a bolt with this specific thread pitch, thread it into the bottom there, get it started and just go all the way up till it stops. So it stops and then back it out just a tiny bit so it's just loose. Okay, so you got your cam in the vise and you got your bolt in the lower part, in the lower half of the fatter portion of this cam gear. So to go by hand or you can put a rag around it or whatever and take this top part of the gear, the smaller half, work it over as far as you can by hand, then carefully, not to gouge your hand or anything like that, stick this big screwdriver in there and work it over until the gears line up then you could run this bolt in there, and you could see it right here. Run it all the way in there, and then you can let this screwdriver out, and that will hold the spring tension on this cam gear. Now you wanna do that because this keeps preload on the two cam gears that mesh together in the cylinder head. So if you, if, if you completely neglect to do this step, when you get it all back together and fire it up, your cam gears are gonna rattle all around. This keeps them all kinda tensioned together. So we'll take our head gasket, bring it over here to the car. Okay, it only goes on there right one way, so it should be fairly easy to line up. You should see the part number and the branding and all that stuff on top, and then these bigger holes should line up with the two pins, so it's pretty simple. And then there's, of course, three, these are probably coolant or oil passageways up top here that should all line up with the holes on the block, so grab our cylinder head. And by the way, before you do all this, you want to make sure both the mating surfaces are clean. Now, I've already done all that. These are both nice and clean. So you know what? That could use a little bit, a little bit more. And give it a little wipe. But it did just come back from the machine shop, so this head's been resurfaced. He told me he had to take four thousandths off of it. But you know what? It was worth it to take it in there regardless, because it only costed 50 bucks, and now we got a nice, fresh, flat head to start with. So we'll take it in there and then we'll simply drop it down onto the pins. Now all the stuff around it might get in the way a little bit but nonetheless it should fall set clean down on here eventually. And there we go. Okay. Head sitting where it should. So we'll come over here and grab our little package of head bolts. Now these are all bone dry, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip them in oil. That'll do, pig. 
well, I caught myself there. I almost forgot the washer. So put your washer on each one of your bolts and drop them down in there. All right, so torque wrench is out. Each one of these head bolts gets 36 foot pounds plus an additional 90 degrees. So we'll start, we'll half that. We'll start with 18 foot pounds and we'll work our way up slowly to, to 30 in increments. So we'll go 18 foot pounds and then we'll go 36 and then we'll do 90. We'll start off with 18 and we'll start this out. Time for 36. We'll start on the outside and work our way in. So we'll change it to 90 degrees. And there we go. We'll start on the end here. We'll put 90 on all of them. That's just freaking great. Okay, so you're not gonna wanna do what I did and realize that you forgot to put the valve lash adjusters back in. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kinda retarded. So, let's take this cam back out and not skip an entire step. Oh, I wonder why this engine isn't running right. Oh, I wonder why I completely destroyed the cam lobes on the top of these valve stems. I'm gonna blame it on you guys. It's cause I was filming. What's up, Barry? Oh, not too shabby. Huh? Said not too shabby, getting this thing put back together. Good, good. What's that? Four thousandths. So not too much. He said he's taken thirteen thousandths off before, so huh? he said it wasn't too bad. Yeah. yeah, my only issue is, you know, amateur mechanic over here, so you forget to do something. Two steps forward, one step back, but... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I usually try to just get by on my good looks, but that doesn't work with this stuff. Okay, valve lash adjusters. That would be these. So each one of these valve lash adjusters has a specific thickness to fit into its respective home. So when you're taking them out to do this job, you want to make sure you put them back in the order that they came in and you want to make sure not to drop this piece of cardboard or whatever. So I just made a layout of the engine. There's the intake side, there's the driver side, there's the crank pulley side, here's the exhaust side. So there's my layout of how they all go and I'll start getting these put in here. So here's my intake. I'll put in my right hand and my exhaust I'll keep in my left hand. So intake number one in your right hand, some assembly lube, then exhaust number one, some assembly lube, and drop it in there. And then we're just gonna keep doing that for each one of these. And these are pretty dirty, so we'll clean them off as we go. So again, pick up the intake first, clean it off, hold it in my right hand. Exhaust, clean it off, and hold it in my left hand. Zavina Schleiden, and we'll drop it into onto the top of our next valve. All right, so we're gonna take our camshaft here. We'll take our new cam seal and we'll put it on there with the closed side facing the engine. Looks like my spring fell out, so we'll take that spring, put it back in there. And again, we'll put it on there with the closed side facing 
the cam gear. Here on your cam gear, you got three timing marks on it, okay? You got one there, one there, and one right there. Hopefully you can see that on the GoPro. There, there, and there. Now when we set this in here, we'll set it in here with this little pin facing about the nine o'clock position relative to the engine. So it'll be facing pretty much parallel, just a little bit above parallel with the engine. Okay, so now with that set in the engine, you can see one timing mark here, one timing mark here, and one timing mark there. So that bottom timing mark, that last one, we're not gonna pay attention to, nor are we gonna pay attention to that one. All we care about is the middle timing mark here. So put a little bit of white out on that tooth, because I don't have a paint pen. And we'll come over here to the exhaust. And on the exhaust cam, you'll see a timing mark there, one there, and then a set of two there. The only one we're worried about on this cam gear is this one right here. See that one right there? Full of whiteout. So we'll set this aside for now and we'll take our intake caps and we'll get them ready to start putting them on. So I've already cleaned up this cap, but this first cap that goes over the cam seal on the intake one needs to be sealed. This has oil running through it and you need to put some gasket maker on, on this portion of it. So, all right, so we'll take some RTV and we'll just make a nice little thin coat on here. Okay, so we got some RTV on there. Take some assembly lube. Drop it on that cap. And then we'll set this cap down in here. This direction and it should line up with the cam seal as well as these two pins. And then we'll just take the cam seal and seat it in there. Okay, that's the only one that needs to be sealed for sealed for oil with Permatex. So, we'll take the rest of these and we'll set them on here. Now, these are all all these caps are labeled. You can see intake 1, intake 2, 3, 4. So, it's I1, I2, I3, I4. So your arrow is gonna to point towards the front of the engine. And number one is gonna be the frontmost cap. So there's one, two, three, four, and again, arrow points towards the front of the engine. So the arrow's gonna go that way. And if you're wondering, that's the front of your engine, passenger side. I get it started. And number four and get it started. Okay, now we'll take our extension with the socket on it, and we'll run these down the rest of the way. Now that those valve blast adjusters are actually in there, I'm gonna have to put a little tension on the cam in order to do this, so. The key here is gonna be nice, even pressure. So again, we're just gonna wanna get these seated Seated. I'll come over here. We'll seat this one. Both end caps are seated. And then again, we'll work our way from the outside in. So, okay, all these are seated. And when I say seated, I mean I just kind of hold the wrench like that and just go until it stops. I exert no force on it, just go until it just stops. It's seated. The metal is pressed together. I'm kind of retarded. All right. torque these okay that's all torqued then we'll grab our adjustable wrench which is down here set it on this wrench square and we'll once again turn this cam Until it lines up it kind of just jumps right into place and it's gonna line up to where this pin right here is essentially facing straight up relative to the engine so we will then grab our exhaust cam and drop it back in lining up that timing mark right there that I have painted with the timing mark on the exhaust so again, 
that is the bottom timing mark on the exhaust and the middle timing mark on the intake side. So now this one is going to be is going to have a lot more spring tension on it. So it's going to be a little more crucial that you kind of tighten these that you tighten these cam journal caps down nice and evenly. Okay. Get that one on there and we'll get it started. And then we will jump over to this one. Get it started. All right, folks, so I'm sitting here editing this video and I'm realizing that I'm just not making any sense regarding torquing down those cams. So first of all, the final torque spec on all those cam bolts is gonna be 17 foot pounds. You wanna start from the outside and work your way inwards. So you're gonna to go to the outermost uh, cam journal cap on the intake cam on the left side. And then you're gonna jump over to the outermost on the right side. And then you're gonna to go to the second outermost and then so on and so forth and work your way to the middle. That way you're not bending those cams as you're torquing the thing down. Also, last but not least, definitely do not forget, once you get those cams torqued down and all the bolts in, take out that bolt that you put in the cam gear to lock in the, uh, the spring tension. At that point, you can pull that bolt out and toss it aside. You don't need that anymore. Do not leave that bolt in that cam gear. That'd be a bad day. So that's gonna be it for part one of replacing this head gasket and timing belt. Uh, tune in to the next one. I'm working on it right now, so it should be out soon. Thanks guys.